me and my wife were uh, came from a broken family, so her parents were divorced. Mine were never together, so we're living with our grandparents. So divorce was a big thing, or was common, and we really didn't. We got together young, and we really didn't know how to be a husband, and she didn't know how to be a wife. In Hawaii. We are all about family. Family, we say ohana in Hawaii. In Samoa, we say ainga, and we are all about it. We, we will die for our family, you know? But the, when the devil steps in, he hits hard. We are people who are so proud. There's, there are things that just hit us hard, like there are pride and drugs. For our family, it was drugs. Um, I was raised in camphor housing. Uh, my husband was raised in um, KPT housing. Um, growing up, I think school wasn't that important. We were more into hanging out. I mean, we hanged out with the, the, the boys. There's a gang called SOS coming from uh, KPT. I and mean, pretty much we did, did it all, drink, smoke, and then things got worse, got to uh, ice, and that's when things really got crazy for me. Man, I remember when I started doing drugs, I was 13 years old. And that's all I seen. I started doing marijuana, started smoking cigarettes, alcohol, meth, cocaine. And I was a different man around my wife. And I was a different man when I wasn't at home. So I didn't, I had to play these two, these two lives and it was getting frustrating. A few years after graduation, um, my husband started working overnight and um, he started using drugs. We didn't know until like a year later, we found out by then, I think he was deep into drugs already. And um, when we found out, well, when I found out, it got worse. He ended up not coming home for like nights. Some nights I would go out there um, with just money to get there. Um, we were living in Waipahu at that time and I didn't have a job, it was just me and my kids, so we would catch the bus down there like early morning so we could try to find him. <clears throat> and then, next thing you know, it'd be 12 o'clock at night and we're still looking, I didn't have no money to get back home. And I just felt like I was lost, I didn't have nobody to turn to. I didn't want to tell my family because I didn't want them judging me for what I was doing. And I didn't want my friends pity so I wouldn't say anything to anyone. I was feeling pretty lost at that time. So after years of fighting with each other, with the drugs, the alcohol, the, the neglect, finally one day my husband went into the men's home. Yes, I did. I went into the men's home and man, I experienced God like no other. It changed my life. I got my wife back and my daughter back. We had to turn to God to fix us because nothing else was working. God has been a healer to me. I mean, he's healed me from a drug addiction. I mean, he's healed our marriage. And he was there when I, my strength and everything. It's really a miracle that we're still together. I just thank God that um, <clears throat> He restored us and kept us going. Now it's 22 years together and a lifetime more to go. Man, it's so amazing what God has, is doing in our lives, in our family's life. I mean, our children. I mean, is my son just came from the East Coast Training Center. My daughter is involved with gang girl Bible studies. My wife is in ministry and uh, I'm working in the in ministry, in the worship ministry. I mean, it's just been so awesome what God is doing in our lives now. We, we are, we are Victory Outreach. Outreach.